But th thanks for everyone for coming out here this morning. Um, at the moment, police are currently at the scene uh, at Burton here. This relates to some really good police work that occurred yesterday morning about 10.30, where uh, local district policing teams uh, were making an inquiry at this address. As a result of those inquiries, um, their observations led them to execute a general search warrant with the CIB. Upon entering the premises behind me, a very, very uh, big number of vehicles, uh, shipping containers, uh, stolen property and other suspected items of, uh, that have been improperly gained have been located on the premises. Uh, the volume is uh, significant, I can tell you that much. We're talking to up to 20 shipping containers containing uh, various items, including uh, some very historical um, horse buggy, which was uh, quite uh, of interest. We have uh, stolen bobcats, vehicles, trucks, industrial trailers. Um, also upon arrival, police did locate one male person who has since been, uh, was arrested at the scene. Uh, he's currently at the uh, Elizabeth Police Station awaiting uh, court. He's also been charged with property offences related to this, which are considered to be major indictable, and also drug charges, which relate to a, a cursory clan lab that had been established here with other traffical amount of uh, drug, namely amph uh, amphetamine. So that matter is also proceeding for the court this morning. Uh, at the moment, I'd like to call this what we call the reconnaissance phase. Due to the vast volume of property that is contained behind here, uh, police are currently doing a search in groups uh, methodically to thoroughly investigate and try and locate owners of property. Um, as a result of that, given uh, the shipping containers, which as mentioned, vast and up to 20, we're asking anyone who may have lost or had um, a shipping container stolen from anywhere uh, to contact Crime Stoppers so we can try and reunite them and bring some property back to the community that they rightly deserve to have returned to them. Do you have any idea how long this has been going on or over what period of time the property was stolen? Uh, no, but it would have, not not clearly. But it would. This certainly didn't occur in the last, you know, last few days or anything like that. It's clearly ha taken some time to get to this stage, given the volume um, and the ability to move such volume would take some time. I understand there may have been something that's or uh, another sort of warrant or bust that happened here within the last twelve months. Is that correct? Oh, I'm un I'm unaware of that um, particular um, bust or you know that raid or whatever it might be talking about. I'm not aware of that one. Is there any indication of? I think it's quite, um, you, we need to cast a net quite wide for this one. Uh, there are some maritime forklifts, for example, and other very heavy equipment, which um, you know, suggest it would come from some sort of a nautical place, like maybe Port Adelaide. Um, we'll need to investigate that more fully and thoroughly to try and get an idea, but uh, just the volume and the type of equipment, you know, they would be across the state of South Australia, I suggest. So we're talking millions of dollars? I think it would be very close to a million dollars worth of property here. Um, that's um, very subjective, but the, the volume here, you know, we're talking some of the forklifts and other things, they're valued when in excess of $200,000, for example. Some of the bobcats there are $160,000, uh, a Land Cruiser, $200,000, so it, it mounts up very quickly. I was going to say, well beyond a million then, perhaps. Could be, it depends on your valuation, doesn't it? That's a hard part. And is there an indication that it was being stored here to be unsold, or any idea why it was brought here? No, it appears to have been staged here for quite some time. So it, uh, my impression is that it's been held here for a period of time, um, and that's all I can really say about that at this point in time. Obviously, there's further investigations ongoing to try and uh, isolate the property, where they've come from, and draw some conclusions from that, but that will take some time. And you suspect there's any links to any organised crime groups or Pro motorcycle gangs? Uh, probably a bit early uh, to say that at this point in time. Um, but as mentioned, thorough investigations will need to be conducted to comprehensively examine where they came from um, and that will require some you know, solid police work to make that happen. And one person has been arrested, are you seeking anyone else in relation to this? At this point in time, no. We understand he's the sole male resident of the address. Can you give us any more details about his age? That sort of thing? Uh, I'm told he's a 41 year old male person. So does he reside here? Yes. A, a house or some sort of accommodation here that he lives in? Uh, I'd call it makeshift accommodation, uh, which would be a shipping container. Any idea how long he's been here for? No, but would no, not particularly. But it would the environment would suggest he's been here for quite some time. How long have you been investigating this particular site? 
Uh, well, the investigation started uh, this, yesterday morning at 10.30, as mentioned, with good police work when it identified a warrant was appropriate um, a statutory tool to gain entry to the premises, and that led to locating this massive volume of property. Can Last question. Can you talk about what the the reason for police being here yesterday morning was, and maybe just touch on the police work that led to this? Um, what I can say is some, some good investigative police work in relation to some property inquiries they were conducting, unrelated to this event. However, it led to uh, revealing the warrant being required to enter the premises lawfully and then subsequently finding the amount of property we have here. Thank you.